from the molecular forces that is one the elastomers fibers and thermoplastic and thermosetting polymers now we will discuss very first two definitely question has been asked in this one or in the previous classification which we have done in the last class elastomers are actually rubber like and they are weak force it can be understand by word elasticity elastic they are rubber like weak vulnerable force present between them weak vulnerable force present between that weak vulnerable force present between them the weak binding forces allow the polymers to be stretched it means they can be stretched and a few cross link present between the chains help the polymer to come back to the original position the cross linking between them help to come back after stretching in the original position and which is when the force is removed its example is vulcanized rubber vulcanized rubber buna n buna s there are this chapter is having a lot of defensing the defense will come between elastomer and fiber now we will discuss the fiber fibers are thread like structures strong intermolecular hydrogen bond strong hydrogen bond is present between them or we can say that dipole dipole force dipole dipole force of attraction present between them they are having high tensile strength high tensile strength they are also having they have high melting point also they are having high melting point low elasticity so these are the point of differentiation between the elastomer and fibers they are also low solubility and their example is polymide that is the nylon 66 which we have made nylon 66 example which is known as polyamide polyester like as terylene next example is and this is what polyester now in next we are turning to the thermoplastic and thermosetting we are going to differentiate between right now now thermoplastic polymers they are linear you can say that slightly branched it is slightly branched which can be repeated on softening 
heating and hardened on cooling without any change in the chemical composition means of that these are the polymers thermoplastic which we can get again and again they can be repeat and they can get soft on heating and hard on cooling lastly i can say that they can be used again and again and its example are these polymers have moderate force of attraction between them and force of attraction is moderate force not too much strong and its example are we are using day to day life polythene pvc polystyrene and whereas in the thermosetting we are heavily branched we are heavily branched which on heating undergoes extensive cross linking when we heat them they will go to the extensive cross linking extensive cross linking which form them hard insoluble and infusible mass these cannot be remolded thermosetting polymers cannot remolded lastly i say that they use only once they use only once after that they will break down and its example are bakelite like as handle of cooker they are made up of it once they will broken down they cannot be used with the heavy stick or like that and next example is urea formaldehyde resins etc so this is very important classification definitely will come in the exam either you will put the question differentiate between thermoplastic and thermosetting or you will put the question fiber and elastomer or the previous classification which we have done you can put the question differentiate between the fiber or you can explain the put the question addition and condensation polymer thank you very much guys next we are coming type of polymerization reaction